Okay, just a quick little video of an idea I've had for a while. I've never done this on any el anyone else's rig. So this is the guinea project. It's a little bit on the controversial side. But what I've done is uh, I've taken a 90 watt and I've made a window shade out of it. Let's climb this ladder so you can see. Now to do this, you want to have a good solar panel for starters. And if you see how that solar panel, how that top member is actually encased by the side member, the holes are along that side and this side, which means that it's supposed to be mounted by the side that it is mounted. And you can see I've really gone skookum as far as the hinging goes. And there is actually two bolts that hold it into place. Now the reason why I have this tab extended is I'm going to take and extend this all the way, like extend <laughs> this down with an aluminum rail that'll join up to the bottom side so that it's actually hanging from the bottom side as well. And you can see how I have standoffs built here. I'll put some foam backing on the camper itself so that the standoffs sit against a foam in here. And then on the bottom, what I'll do is I'll have, I'll have angled brackets that'll be like this. And it'll be a tight fit so that it actually takes the weight off the hinges and and gives gives some weight to this edge as well and uh, they'll probably there probably be foam in between the solar panel and the, and the angle bracket and that's just for transportation and then what I'll probably do is I'll probably tack weld those nuts in place like they're they're self locking bolts but in terms of theft I'll probably just touch them with an arc welder just I've already ground off the threads a bit so that they're not easy to get off like a, a wrench will slip over them but I'll probably tack those as well and uh, but it from from the inside it's great like it just it kills all the heat I can sit in my uh, dinette now and not worry about it and not worry about the heat of course, I don't have an awning, so so that's that's the basic idea, and you can see that it it stands out a ways from the camper enough. I'm not worried about my old boat loader. If you see that boat loader, it's junk. It doesn't work very good at all, anyways. And the bubble on the roof of this thing doesn't doesn't really warrant having a, a boat up there. So I've got this towable anyway. So. Um, Anyway, yeah, it's it's standoff enough that I can build a um, I'll build a a vinyl with elastic edges a cover for this. So the thing will basically lock down in place. I'll have one of the angled brackets will actually be a gate lock, so I can padlock it. So it's locked in place, um, making it very difficult to um, to get at. Uh, the design itself basically will hide the nuts so you have to cut the bolt you know it'll be quite a procedure to steal it when I'm done um, up here I'll I'll tack weld those and you can see that I uh, hopefully you can see that anyways I, I built it out a little bit Let's see if I can get a good shot there's a a piece of plate aluminum in behind and then I'll it's it's built out a bit and the reason why I did that is to leave a gap that I can drop my ProFlex right down in there and seal it all up. And then uh, it's got the MC4s. So the idea is, is that I can connect it to whatever I want with these quick connects. So I can connect it to my charge controller inside the camper. Or I can just have like a, a trolling motor for an electric motor sitting out here with its own tr charge controller and and then because I'm gonna put another couple 140s on the roof as well 
So I'll have 280 on the roof and 90 on the side. And then I can do extended stays without using a generator. All right, just a little, little idea there. Uh, solar power window shade. Thanks for watching.